please give a huge round of applause for Mr. Ankur Variku. First of all, welcome to IIT Delhi. It is, is such a, a pleasure to be back and I'm so happy that this is happening in person. I know that you guys would have pulled off a miracle after the recent guidelines that came in, but I am so, so happy to be on campus, to be in person with all of you. Thank you for having me. It is such an honor to have you here with us today, sir. As I mentioned, today is extra special and it's even more special because Ankur sir is here with us in person and we've all seen him so many times across the screen on YouTube, on Instagram, on our LinkedIn feeds but now we're getting to see him in person and I am personally super duper excited. I am pretty sure that everyone in the audience is as well. So uh, I think without any further ado, we should get started with the discussion. So uh, first of all, one question that I think a lot of us have for you is you have so you manage so many roles together. You are an entrepreneur, you're a content creator and you are an author now. Which one of these roles uh, and other roles that you play do you enjoy the most and why? I think conclusively the answer would be that of an entrepreneur. I'd, I'd like to call myself an entrepreneur. I somewhat cringe jab mall mein logo Aap YouTuber hai na? And I like, I'm a 40-year-old YouTuber home because that doesn't just fit in. So if you can call me an entrepreneur, even if you th don't think I am, but that's the that's the one identity I would love to be imbibing. Right. Okay. Any specific reason for that? Uh, it's cool, <laughs> but you know, I I think I think it's more than more than being an entrepreneur. The the big thing which which most of you who you're so young will realize, entrepreneurship is not a profession. Aksar hume aisa lagta hai ki entrepreneurship is you have to have a startup, you have to go and raise money, you have to be on Shark Tank, you have to be this and that, blah blah blah. But entrepreneurship is actually a state of mind. It's how you think and behave and operate that makes you an entrepreneur or not. And at some point of time, very quickly, most of you will be joining jobs and you may think of yourself as an employee. You will think of yourself as somebody who's working for somebody else. And that will be such a loss of identity for all of you because you have the choice of being an entrepreneur while in a job. And that is purely determined by the way you think. So I think the entrepreneurial DNA and the way that you think and approach things is what I love, irrespective of whether I've started up or not. Makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you. So you mentioned entrepreneurship. I think let's start with that. Can you tell us a little bit about your entrepreneurial journey? How did you come up with the idea? When did you start? Why did you start? Yeah. And what can we as students learn from your journey? Sure. So if you'll give me, Yashasvi, about five, seven minutes, I'd love to go through that journey because it's a fascinating one. I, I always wanted to become an entrepreneur. I don't come from a family of entrepreneurs. Dur dur tak Pure parivar, pure khandan mein kisi ne apni naukri nahi kari hai. In fact, the only time that they did it, they failed disastrously. But I somehow had it in me that I wanted to become one. I just didn't know when. And there were lots of signs in my growing up life, which was, shayad mein karunga nahi karunga. I'll give you two examples. One was when I went to the US. Uh, so I wanted to always become a space scientist. Meri zindagi ka arman tha, that I go to the US for a PhD program. I then joined NASA as a space scientist. And then I eventually become the first man on Mars. This is no bullshit, by the way. This is before Elon Musk came into the picture. This is before Shah Rukh Khan had come back from the US in the movie Swades as a NASA scientist. This is like pure middle class ambition to go to the US for a fine education and all of that. And I went to the US for my PhD program. And I um, didn't have money to buy a laptop because we never had money growing up in life. And I was like, Paise banane padenge kahin se? So I figured as a physics student that physics textbooks in the US are insanely expensive, like at least upwards of $100 and more. And there's always this Asian edition of these textbooks that are available in Nai Sadak in Delhi, Chandni Chowk. I don't know how many of you are even aware of that market. How many of you are aware of Nai Sadak? Quite a few of you. So I went to Nai Sadak in my summer holidays when I came back from the US and I filled up two suitcases of just Resnick Halliday's and literally just all the physics books that I could, which were insanely expensive. And then I went back to the US and listed them on eBay as secondhand books at about $40. And they all sold in three days. 
and I made my first $1,200 through which I made my first laptop. And that was, uh, a lot of people said, mm -hmm. you shouldn't clap because it was illegal back then. <laughs> but thankfully, after a year, a Chinese student who did the exact same thing fought in the US courts and won the verdict. So God bless him because now I'm legal. And at no point of time, if I share the story publicly, I'm going to get jailed. But uh, my first formal entrepreneurial experience was I was working as a consultant after my MBA. And I'm catching up with a friend of mine from business school. And he's like, I've started this new website of mine and I want to talk to you about it. I said, sure, what's it called? He said, it's called secondshadi.com. <laughs> and I was like, is it what I think it is? He's like, huh, man, it's a matrimonial verified for remarriages. There's so many people who get married in India, so they're bound to be people who get divorced and widowed. So there has to be a platform for them to get married again. And I was like, that is such an incredible idea, dude. How did you think about that? He's like, no, my dad thought about this. <laughs> and, and my first reaction was, uh, I hope uncle and auntie are having a happy marriage. But more importantly, can I help? And he was like, yeah, man, I think um, I'm an engineer. I can build this thing out, but you can be a great fit to it. So do you want to join? Uh, but I was in a consulting job and I was thoroughly enjoying myself. So I said, if you allow me to, I would love to continue in my job and then see where it goes. And if it becomes big, then we'll make it happen. So for a year and a half, I had a day job as a consultant. During nighttime, I was Batman trying to get people married again. And after a year and a half, then I took the plunge to start Second Shadi, which was the start of my startup journey way back in 2009 when I was 29 years of age. And it's continued since then. So I've done Groupon and then nearby now as a content creator, educator and so on. And God knows what I will be doing five years from now. That's so amazing. It's about the mindset, like you said, and it you had that mindset. even way before you started up while selling those books in the US. That's Illegally. amazing. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so my next question is, uh, in your content, I think you always lay a lot of emphasis on how 20s are the defining decade of your life, right? And the audience that we have here are mostly IT Delhi students and some more college students who have joined us from other colleges who are all in their 20s. So what would your advice be to them? Uh, because these people are going to either, you know, go for higher studies, join corporate jobs, or start uh, organizations of their own. So what would you like to tell to them? I'm very passionate about this. Thank you for asking this, Yashasvi. Here's one thing that you all may know of, but don't realize how it is going to mess up with you. Constantly on a daily basis, somebody is telling you what you should be doing in life and is defining that as success for you. It could be your family, could be your friends, could be your professors, could be even Instagram and YouTube and somebody who you don't even know of, who is in some way seeding an idea of success in your head. And you are then taking it as your definition of success without asking, kya genuinely ye mera success hai ya nahi? And if you don't ask that question, you are going to, for the rest of your life, be miserable living somebody else's life. And this is coming from a 42-year-old. Take it for what it's worth. In your 20s, everybody will ask you, settle down. Settle down. Jaldi se padai khatam karo. Jaldi se naukri le lo. Jaldi se shadi kar lo. Jaldi se wo gaadi, bangla, all those things that the society will deem as success. Jaldi, jaldi kar lo. Kyunki khatam kar lo. Fir zindagi ji lena. Jhoot hai. It never happens. There is no deadline towards life. There is no milestone that you have to hit. The more you succumb to that, the more you set yourself up for a lifelong of uncertainty. Instead, I think that this decade should be used for as much exploration as you can. Explore. You do not know who you are. Take it from me because I was exactly you 20 years back. We do not know who we are. We still trying to make sense of it. We're still trying to figure, what do I like? What do I not like? What am I good at? Not good at? What is it that makes me happy? Not happy? And the worst thing you can do is get into a job thinking that that is what you should be doing for the rest of your life and then trying to convince yourself that you ought to do it even though you are not good at it. 
explore. And that doesn't mean that you keep changing jobs, huh? so don't get me wrong. I'm not suggesting that one job se dusra, dusre se tisra, ek relationship se dusra, dusre se tisra. Nah. I'm saying you have to find different identities of yourself coexisting in you. If you join as a consultant somewhere, don't be a consultant. Like if I were to ask you, anybody right now, what do you do? It is unfortunate that most of you will say, I'm a student of chemical engineering at IIT Delhi. It's like, wo apka pura vajood hai. it's your entire existence. There's nothing else to it. That's tragic, right? It's almost tragic. I would love for you to get to a point where you struggle to answer, what do you do? Because like, you know what? I fucking do so many things. I don't even know how to answer that question. If somebody asks you, hey, where do you see yourself five years from now? The classic interview question. I don't know what they're expecting in that. I have no, like, do you know where you will be five years from now? Asking me the question. I would love for all of you to say, I don't know where I will be five years from now, but you know what? I am okay with that. I, in fact, love that because I am setting myself up for a completely new thing to hit me up as against marrying myself to something which I think is for my rest of your life. Don't do that. Keep exploring. Keep exploring. That's the best thing you can do for your decade. I think the audience's response is speaking for itself. Thank you so much for that answer. Uh, so my next question is, you tried a PhD in astrophysics and then finally you completed your MBA from ISB. So when it comes to higher studies, I think you have quite a diverse experience. What would be uh, your advice to those who are thinking of either going for an MS or a PhD or an MBA uh, after their undergraduate studies and what are the factors that one should consider before finally deciding to do it or not? To answer this question, I, I'll do an opinion poll. So. I want to know for you, what do you think is more important? The course that you study or the institute that you study from, okay? What is more important, the course that you study or the institute that you study from? How many of you think that the course that you study is more important than the institute? Show of hands. Raise hands. Ekdam bulant kar gira. Darna nahi hai. Kuch nahi hoga. Fail nahi hoga. Are all of you from IIT Delhi? <laughs> <laughs> because Baki Lalle Hamara IT mein nahi hua, to Hamare ko course bolna padega, kyunki kis muse bolenge. I'm, I'm part of that. I, I tried JE twice, never made it. No, actually thrice. Uh, but yeah, long story. Whenever you're selecting any place to study, to work, to hang out with, the only consideration that I believe you should have is am I going to be surrounded by people who lift me up? and challenge me in a way that I become a better person. Who lift me up so they are not destructive for you. There are enough people who could be destructive and yet smart. They'll be so smart that you will feel destroyed in front of them. So they have to lift you up. But they make you a better version of yourself. Pick that place. Frankly, and most of you will agree with me when I say this, I hope there are no professors here, no due respect, disrespect. Nothing of what you're studying in this institute is going to materially help you in your life. What you study in class is a very small microcosm of the entire experience that you're getting. Your real experience in college, irrespective of undergrad, grad, PhD, whatnot, are the people that you're spending time with and the kind of conversations you're having. And if that lifts you up and makes you a better version of yourself, go and do that because that is going to be the place where everyone will gravitate towards. Employers, the best crowd, you, your, the best opportunities, everything gravitates towards a set of individuals who are super smart and bring each other up. That's frankly the only consideration. People agonize, and of course, if you're very technical, I'm not saying if you want to become a doctor, then take up a course in IIT Delhi in physics, can't happen, but everything notwithstanding, be in the place where you're surrounded by super smart people who are constantly making you feel like there is a lot more to do and encourage you to pursue that. If you are, you're home. And that is one of the reasons why places like the IITs, the IIMs, the McKinsey's of the world, all the best colleges that this country has, smell of it 
because that's where the best ideas, the best opportunities lie. And if you are part of that group, then you're setting yourself up for a great opportunity engine for the rest of your life. So at the end of the day, it's about the people who you are with. It, at the end of the day, it, your entire life is about the people you're with. And that starts with your own self. Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. So uh, my next question is, uh, we've heard this concept of retiring by your 30s from you multiple times. So uh, would you like to elaborate a little bit on that? And uh, in terms of students who, let's say, are putting their life on a risk by starting up or by, let's say, going for higher studies, taking up loans and all, how do you think they can retire by their 30s? <laughs> So first, the definition of retirement. How many of you know of this concept called FIRE? F-I-R-E. Not AG, but FIRE as an acronym. Okay. And it's okay if you don't. I'm, I'm glad that you don't because it's often misquoted. The definition of FIRE or the full form of FIRE is financially independent, retire early. It's become this fad nowadays where people are like, oh, I'm 21 and I'm working towards a fire life. <laughs> okay, sure, all the best. Um, retirement is the following. Retirement is not that you stop working. That's not the definition of retirement. While we've seen our parents pursue that definition, so they celebrate, Are, saal ki umru pe, dekhye, Mehta ji ko wo HMT ki ghadi mili hai, aur wo buke, aur you're celebrating this entire thing. That was retirement back then. Today, retirement is that you don't have to work for money. That if you stop working and if you did not have the kind of income that you have today, you're not going to die. It's not a question of survival. That is true retirement. Because when you get to that point where you're financially independent, you can do whatever you want to do. You can literally do whatever you want to do. And for those, most of you, who haven't started working as yet. You have no idea. Anybody here who's working in a full-time job? Some of you are. Right? So you will kind of know what I'm talking about. You have no idea what's going to happen to your life when you start working. It will hit you like nothing else will. It's like the matrix. No one can be told what the matrix is. You have to go through it to experience it yourself. How many of you have watched the matrix? Thank God. For the rest of you, please go and watch that movie. It's better than most OTT series right now. The key is, when you start working, the entire world is going to make you addicted to it. That's their job. Their job is that you never stop working because you're an asset for the company, you do something for the company, and in return of that, they'll give you money that you think is necessary for your existence, and they'll also convince you that that's the only thing you should go after. Plus, they will encourage you to keep upgrading your lifestyle. Aray Ankur, what a performer, man. BMW this year, boss, BMW, BMW. And Ankur like, yes, BMW. Charlie's Lakka loan, yes, BMW. And then suddenly, you have that 60,000 ki EMI. So if ever at any point of time, you see your friends working in startups, really enjoying yourself, living the life that they want to, you're like, boss, 60,000 rupees mahina to bare minimum qualification for me to even take any decision, assuming that that's the only loan you've taken. So that's the trap. And it's a beautiful trap. It is such a great trap that even though I am telling you that it is a trap, you will not believe it until you get into the trap. It is wonderfully orchestrated. So what you want to do is use the money that people give you to buy your independence. And that will only come by investing it in assets that make you money while you don't have to work. Investing your money in assets that make you money while you don't have to work. What's an example of that? If you, and this is quite crazy if you think about it, if you buy a stock of Reliance, and that is, by the way, not a recommendation, huh? no stock tips. If you buy a stock of Reliance, what's essentially happening is that you've given money to this company and now Mukesh Ambani and his entire family and the entire Reliance team is going to work day and night to make money for you. That's exactly what's happening. You will not be working at Reliance, right? Aapka ek percent bhi dimag Reliance ko chalane mein nahi jayega. In fact, you don't even know how it runs. Somebody else is doing all that hard work 
and you get to make money from it. It's crazy when you think about it that way. So if you buy a stock of Tesla, Elon Musk apni puri zindagi laga dega aapke paise banane ke liye. Of course, he will also make money in that process. But that is such a brilliant use of your money as against buying a BMW. Or for that matter, any car. I'm not saying cars are not good, but you get the point, I hope. Use your money to buy assets so that at some point of time they make you so much money on a monthly, quarterly, yearly basis that you don't have to rely on your job to survive. When you get to that point, you've retired. That's it. You've technically retired. You can now say, okay, I'm going to work in this job, but even if they, for whatever reason, fire me, I'm going to do whatever I want to do. I will write the poetry that I wanted to. I will run that farm that I wanted to. I'll go on that vacation that I wanted to. I will spend time with NGOs. I will experiment with my own startup. I'll do whatever I want to do because I don't have to rely on that salary for the rest of my life to make my existence felt. That is retirement. That is the true definition of retirement. Not working towards 60 and then saying, 60 saal ki umro mein, mere paas karodo honge, daant nahi honge, apna health nahi hoga, kuch nahi hoga, lekin mein karod pati honga. Ha 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 ha. God bless Ankur Variko. Not gonna happen. Bad, bad idea. One opinion poll. How many of you have heard of Warren Buffett here? Almost all of you. How old is Warren Buffett? Louder? <laughs> People are not sure. Like, Okay, he's 93, 94, I think. How rich is he? Great answer. I don't need to give the number. Rich enough. Like, not to worry about this. How many of you here would want to be Warren Buffett? How many of you here would want to be Warren Buffett? Two, three, four. Raise your hands. The rest, why don't you want to be Warren Buffett? Main kya karunga us 100 billion dollar ka jab mere paas maximum 5 ya 7 saal hai zindagi ke? What the fuck am I going to do with that? I don't want to be him. I, I hope nobody here wants to be him. With no offense because you're still learning this trade. If you have time on your hands, nothing is more important. That is what financial independence gives you. You have time. You have something that most people would love to give their left arm and right leg for. Kash, mujhe 20 saal ka wapas bana do. And I am convinced most of you 20 year old think that you're old as fuck. <laughs> How many of you here think that you're really old? Like zindagi shit man. Everyone around me, baki log jhoot bol rahe hain. Sach bolo. How many of you here are like, everybody else is so sorted. I am the only duffer. I am the only loser who doesn't know what I want in life. Zindagi chali ja rahi hai. Dheer 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 sab ke haath ootre hai. Dheer 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 zindagi chali ja rahi hai. Maa baap ke arman poore nahi kar pa rahe hai. Dost itne aage nikal gaye hai. Kuch nahi ho raha hai. What you have is what most people don't. You have time. Don't let that go away because that will compound like nobody else. I'll stop. My answers are very long. Sorry. <laughs> At some point of time, feel free to say, Baud ho gaya. point mil gaya hai mein, right? Like, time out, time out, time out. You've made your point. Ah. No, but that's such a beautiful answer and such a different way of looking at it. Thank you so much for that. So, um, my next question is, what is one thing that you wish you knew when you were in your college and you'd like to share with everyone? <laughs> I'm often asked this question and I'm always stumped at what the answer could be. I, I, I really, and I'm not lying, Risha Sri, when I say this, I, I don't think, I, I wish I knew anything that I know today, except for one thing. I wish I'd made my decisions in life from a point of awareness and not ignorance. Here's what I mean by this. Go back to your class 11th. All of you took up, or sorry, most of you took up science. But most of you had no fucking idea what that meant. You just wanted to take up science because number was good, and you were an engineer in the house, and you had to go to IIT, you had to go to the And some of you took commerce because 
घर में सीए हैं बिजनेस फैमिली से हैं मम्मी पापा वही बोल रहे हैं या नंबर अच्छे नहीं आए हैं एंड देन आई हेजिटेटेड टू से दिस बिकॉज एस आर सी सी बीकॉम ऑनर्स इज लाइक वॉट नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट हंड्रेड परसेंट लाइक देर पीपल हु ऑन देर रेज्यूम से नाइनटी नाइन पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट लाइक हाउ आर यू एवर गोइंग टू लिव विद दैट नंबर फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ विल यू नॉट स्पेंड एवरी सेकेंड ऑफ योर लाइफ सेंग काश वो सवाल सही हो गया होता 99.7 is so much more worse than 91%. If 91% is like boss, like 9% percent मुझे नहीं आता था. As against 0.3 percent, like उस समय अगर hall में गर्मी कम होती तो शायद मैं खुले दिमाग से वो answer कर पाती और 100 percent ले पाती. Anyway, and some of you took humanities because that's what you thought you wanted to, or worse, number नहीं आए थे. and that is such a horrible way of taking decisions in life right that's such a horrible way of taking decisions koi idea nahi ki mechanical chemical electrical computer science engineering karke zindagi mein hota kya hai like what really happens no idea what really happens when you become a ca no idea what really happens when you become a journalist no idea so we constantly taking decisions because we think we don't have other choices and that is the worst way to take decision it's called a hobson's choice a hobson's choice is when you have an illusion of a choice when there is no choice that is the only thing you will end up doing don't make your decisions from a point of ignorance make yourself aware when you're thinking of a career speak to people who are in that career but also speak to people who were in that career and not there anymore so that you get both the perspectives it is very very nice to say are wah iit se har ek insaan lakho karodo arbo ki salary leke jata hai but there are enough and more people who are disillusioned by this entire experience speak to them so that you are aware of what this has to offer because when you do that you take decisions from a point of awareness that's the only thing that i wish i was doing in my 20s because i was pretty much doing the same thing that i suggested one shouldn't do makes a lot of sense makes a lot of sense thank you so much um so i'll club the next two questions uh, one is as students you know we uh, have so much going on we have classes academics and then extra curriculars and internships projects and then fests like rendezvous how do we best manage our time and then to club uh, the next question how do we make time for personal relationships with our families friends and how do we make a balance out of all that इसके लिए आपको मेरा कोर्स खरीदना पड़ेगा आई एम ट्रेडिंग टू आस्क दिस क्वेश्चन कि कितने लोग मेरे एड देख के पक चुके हैं कोई हाथ नहीं उठाएगा ऑनेस्ट एडमिशन वी आर नॉट डूइंग दिस बाय डिजाइन फेसबुक और गूगल के सामने हम गिड़ गिड़ा के बोल रहे हैं प्लीज हमें एक फ्रीक्वेंसी कैप एट अ अकाउंट लेवल दे दो वी हैव फ्रीक्वेंसी कैप्स एट अ कैंपेन लेवल तो आई हैव फॉर एग्जाम्पल 14 डिफरेंट कैंपेन रनिंग उन सब की फ्रीक्वेंसी कैप इज टू पर मंथ बट दैट मीन्स एट अ यूजर लेवल इट इज परमिटेशन कॉम्बिनेशन जिसने पढ़ी होगी ऑलमोस्ट थाउजेंड्स सो एवरीबडी इज सींग दैट एड मल्टीपल टाइम्स ओवर एंड of course i wish i could do something about it but the only thing that i can is just say sorry <laughs> the essence to managing time is to constantly be reminded of three things number one if you perpetually live in fomo god bless you you are not going to manage time khatam story over if you are like oh main yahan pad raha hu lekin mere dost डोगरा हॉल में अंकुर वारिको को सुन रहे हैं लाइव मैं यहां उसका घटिया यूट्यूब वीडियो देख रहा हूं 1.5 एक्स पे और वहां वो उसको 1 एक्स पे बोर हो रहे हैं एंड दैट विल जस्ट मेस विद योर माइंड इट्स नेवर गोइंग टू अलाउ यू टू सेटल सो एट सम पॉइंट टाइम यू हैव टू रियलाइज यू कांट बी देर एवरीवेयर यू कांट बट दिस ट्रेनिंग ऑफ हाउ टू कंडीशन योर सेल्फ टू बी ओके विद इट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ट्रेनिंग and i hope most of you who are not in your fourth year but second third first year 
यूज द रेस्ट ऑफ द इयर्स टू ट्रेन योर ऑन दैट कि फोमो में लंबी सांसें लेकर कैसे अपने आप को संतुलन में लाए नॉट लूज आर शेट बट बी ओके विद द फैक्ट दे आर अदर पीपल डूइंग अदर थिंग्स एंड यू आर डूइंग वट यू थिंक इज इंपॉर्टेंट नंबर वन नंबर टू हैविंग अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सेंस ऑफ वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वेरी ऑफन वॉट इज अर्जेंट सीम्स इंपॉर्टेंट जल्दी 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 कर दे जल्दी जल्दी कर दे दैट सडनली बिकम्स इंपॉर्टेंट and you then drugged into believing that that is what you should be doing unfortunately the urgent things are the ones that will be creating most noise they are the ones that will be creating most noise in your ears in your head so it will be very hard for you to distract yourself and focus on the urgent but if you killed for life and then finally number 3 be very conscious of what is it that makes you एनीथिंग एल्स तो कितने लोग हैं जो एक कॉन्वर्सेशन के बाद लाइक ओ माय गॉड गॉड अब मेरे पास कुछ भी करने का कोई एनर्जी नहीं बचा है दैट गाय जस्ट कीम इन एंडर ऑफ दैट सो यू हैव टू इंश्योर दैट वेन यू स्टार्ट योर डे यू स्टार्ट योर डे विथ थिंग्स दैट गिव यू एनर्जी Here, pick up your phone as the first thing you get up in the morning. The answer is, "I have come. Where is a post? Where is a email? Something that you have no control over. 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 Something that you have no because you know how to get out of any shit that you are in because you control your time and you can then devote every bit of your existence towards fixing the state or the situation you are in if you do not know how to control time you will perpetually feel helpless always out of control and then it will only require luck for you to get out of wherever you are it's actually very powerful i think um with that i think we can begin with the audience q and a uh, before that would you like to give any final words no nothing any? i'm excited for the q and a let's okay. make that happen we can start with the questions then you can just raise your hands and somebody will come with the mic to you some are already here who has a mic yeah if you can sir what is your perception of success is it happiness fulfillment or a state of mind or is it satisfaction that's a good question what's my definition of success my definition of success is the ability to do whatever i want to do without caring to fucks about the world that is my definition of success and that means it doesn't require money it doesn't require me to do something specific it doesn't require me to become a certain individual i will constantly keep changing depending on what i want to do at that point of time and if i do not get me a there the gentleman on the front row and then the lady there yes go ahead sir hello sir thank you uh, i want to ask that how to approach you for funding if you have a idea or any <laughs> recommendation <laughs> Sitting at the front. I'm so sorry. I didn't get the question. Uh, how to approach you for funding if you have any idea or any serious recommendation if you want? How do how to approach me for funding if you have an idea? Just send me an email. I uh, I get a lot of emails. I read all my emails. I only reply to a few of them. So in case you've sent me an email, Can I message you on LinkedIn and you. LinkedIn now. Nah, LinkedIn. I'm thoda. So LinkedIn, Instagram, don't message me on social media platforms because I get so much and it's very hard. But it is crazy how I don't get as many emails, and and I'm able to read through all of them because I love reading my emails. So send me an email. If I don't reply, you should know I have read your email. 
So there is a reason why I haven't replied. If you send it back to me, I'm going to read that as well. I read all my emails. So if my answer is not coming, I mean, something is not in that email which you need to fix. I'm not going to give you that answer, but you have to find that out yourself. Is that okay? Yeah? Yes, sir. Fine. Yeah? Now don't ask me what my email address is because then I will never give you an Okay, uh, the lady there, she had raised her hand. If you still have a question. Yes. So, Angkor, uh, I work in a school. Can I? Yes, yes, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's for others to answer. I'm on a distance. Pe hu, yeah. So, one thing that came to me a lot of understanding was Jugaad. Because I have been from forces. Dad was in Air Force. और जिंदगी जुगाड़ में निकल गई। तो generally जो आजकल के बच्चे सोचते हैं, पैसा होगा तो entrepreneur बनूँगा। But you, I mean the way you went to Nai Sadak, and it really, uh, you know, that was a journey for you to become an entrepreneur. So my question is, क्या पैसा होगा तभी entrepreneur बन सकते हैं, या बिना पैसे भी बन सकते? The answer is very simple. To become an entrepreneur, you don't, please, to become an entrepreneur, you don't need money. Money helps, for sure it helps. But so many people do not ever start because they think that the qualification to start is money. The qualification to start is an idea in a market that is massive, so you have a great tailwind that is helping you without you necessarily having to put in a lot of effort to make it happen the right team that can make it work for you and most importantly your own mindset on what you want from it here are three wrong reasons to become an entrepreneur how many of you here want to become an entrepreneur now or sometime in the future sometime in the future okay number one you want to make money horrible reason to become an entrepreneur most of you understand math most of you hopefully attended your probability classes. The probability of you becoming rich through an entrepreneur is infin inf infinitely smaller than the probability of you making money in a job. Don't look at the alpha, which is the survivors. Look at the probability of success as well, which is what is important. So worst reason to start up, is because my apni zindagi wrong reason to escape the current life. Almost always the wrong reason. To. And number uh, very personal, how to build a very beautiful relationship with your parents? Like how to convince them to communicate with you as a child? <laughs> okay. Which of these two questions, if I could answer only one, is important? Second one. I'm glad you said that. First one would have been such a. Okay, thank you. I will answer both. I will answer both. Please have a seat. Number one, what are the software skills required to be an entrepreneur? Conclusively, people management. Everything ultimately is about people. It's not about entrepreneurship. Every role that you play in life is going to be ultimately about people. You have no choice but to know then it doesn't matter how smart you are because people are emotional, unpredictable, inconsistent and completely duffers when it comes to being rational. So you have to have a very, very strong sense of how you work with people and make that happen. Parents, I can have another one hour session on that, but here's the big picture. How many of you here wish that what she was saying was true? Kaash hamare maabaap hame samaj paate. Show of hands. Okay. Baaki sabke, kitne log ko aisa lagta hai ki unke maabaap unko completely samajhte hain? Very nice, yeah. Great. Uh, you can, by the way, ask all of them, huh? because my answer is not going to be any different, uh, assuming that you know the answer. Here is one thing. Our parents had a very different life than what we are all going through. They're low risk, because if they took risk and it didn't work out, it didn't mean that, oh, we risk take It meant, we don't have to go to school. We have to go So it was a completely different time that we were living in. Now it's a very different era. So when they tell us, 
you should do this in life you should do this in life become an engineer take up this job don't take this risk marry this person blah 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 their risk profile is getting activated but they want the same things for you from your life that you want from your life they want the same things from you from your life that you want for your life as long as you know that don't try and convince your parents that's my humble request because convincing means disregarding their experience and telling them my experience is more than you which is not true instead have a conversation as far out as you can three idiots apne dekhi hai last scene yaad hai farhan ka apne abba ke sath wahi scene har ek insaan ko apni zindagi mein dohrana hi padega in front of their parents we scared of doing that because we are like nahi sare filmi abba thodi hote hain but the truth is that they are ready to hear you out if you are ready to not convince them but explain where you coming from and prove to them that what they want from your life is what you also want from yours but the direction or the path may be different and here is why this path could work out all i need to know is that if i fail you will never stop trusting me that's all i need to know so go back to that one person that you believe you will disappoint the most if you fail in life har ek insaan ki zindagi mein wo ek shakhs hota hai हमारे माँ बाप हो सकते हैं दोस्त हो सकते हैं भाई बहन हो सकते हैं दैट वन पर्सन दैट यू बिलीव विल बी मोस्ट डिसअपॉइंटेड इफ यू फेल इन लाइफ एंड गो एंड सीक देयर परमिशन टू फेल दे विल गिव इट टू यू ट्रस्ट मी दे विल गिव इट टू यू बट यू नीड टू गो एंड टेल देम आई नीड टू नो दैट इफ आई फेल यू विल नेवर स्टॉप ट्रस्टिंग मी एंड इफ दे गिव यू दैट परमिशन फक द वर्ल्ड दैट्स इट जॉब डन That's it. Trust me, it'll be a whole new you. I hope that helped. बाकी जो हैं तो वो तो आप सीख ही सकते हैं. Hello. Oh yes, absolutely. Do you have a question? Yes. Okay, great. After that, yes, sir. So, uh, firstly, uh, thank you. Thank you so much, sir, for being here. Uh, पहली बात तो मैं ये कहना चाहूंगा कि जो मेरी इन्वेस्टमेंट की जर्नी शुरू हुई है जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ यू मतलब इट टुक मी अराउंड इट टुक मी अराउंड टू इयर्स आई वाज सो कंफ्यूज एंड मेस्ड अप इन द होल द इन्वेस्टमेंट पार्ट कि कहाँ पे इन्वेस्ट करूँ कैसे इन्वेस्ट करूँ एस ये वो मैंने पूरा यूट्यूब शान मारा मतलब लाइक एवरी आई वॉच एंड द डे आई वॉच योर वीडियो दैट गिवज मी अ क्लैरिटी दैट this is the thing that i want to thank be. you thank you because of you i came into the investment journey thank you thank you so pehle to ye dream come true wala moment hai because main jammu se aata hu aur jammu ke ek aise area se aata hu jahan par logon ko iit aur iti ka koi difference nahi pata hai they don't know even about what is iit and iti to mere liye to bahut dream even though i'm shivering right now i don't even know ki main kabhi aapse mil paunga nahi mil paunga लाइक like मैंने और मेरे फ्रेंड ने प्लान किया था कि हम आपको मेल करेंगे स्पेशली कोल्ड ईमेल करेंगे <laughs> ताकि हम वहां पर आपसे मिल सकें एक जस्ट छोटी सी बात जस्ट नॉर्मल कॉन्वर्जेशन ये बता सकें कि आपका इतना बड़ा इम्पैक्ट हुआ है कि आपके इतने से इम्पैक्ट से कहा मैं जम्मू में बैठा हुआ एक लड़का और आपके एक छोटी सी वीडियो से मैं इन्वेस्टमेंट जर्नी शुरू कर पाया अपनी जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट थिंग दैट मेक्स वेरी बिकॉज घर वालों के लिए हमारे लिए क्या होता है घर वालों के लिए अगर हम कभी भी बोले उनको कि हमें इन्वेस्टमेंट करनी है या हमें एस करनी है दे जस्ट सेट कि बैंक में जाओ जमा करवा लो वो तीन चार परसेंट का इवन दो जब आप एफ के बारे में बोल दो एफ डी लाइक दैट वे सो मैं जब उनको बताता हूँ बट वो वैसा भी समझने को तैयार नहीं है दे ब्लैक एफ डी इज द सेफेस्ट ऑप्शन बट जब उनको इंटरेस्ट के बारे में बताया जाए दे ब्लैक तीन परसेंट पे भी हमें चलेगा वी डोंट वॉन्ट टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व परसेंट हमें उस पर भी चलेगा तीन चार परसेंट पे बट uh, मैं ये सोचता हूँ कि आप क्रिस्टोफर नोलन हो यूट्यूब के क्यों क्योंकि द वे यू लुक एट थिंग्स ना दैट्स टोटली डिफरेंट मतलब अगर आप इंटरस्टेलर को ले लो इंसेप्शन को ले लो अब देखो उस पर्सन का स्टोरी टेलिंग का आइडिया ही डिफरेंट है एंड द वे यू टेल द स्टोरी दैट्स टोटली डिफरेंट एनी कंटेंट क्रिएटर ऑन द यूट्यूब लोगों को ना ऐसा लगेगा कि मैंने तुम्हें पैसे दिए हैं तो इट्स लाइक वेरी अब तुम रुक जाओ आंखों में आंसू आने वाले हैं मेरे 
अगले महीने की तुम्हारी इन्वेस्टमेंट मैं कर दूंगा तुम्हारे लिए आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट डैट ऑल्सो नो इट वॉज इट वॉज वेरी लाइक राइट नाउ आई एम शिवरिंग आई आई जस्ट डोंट नो कि ये मोमेंट मेरे लिए कब आएगा आई नो दैट कि ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी अप्रॉक्सीमेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी या ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन में हमने अपनी इन्वेस्टमेंट की जर्नी शुरू की थी एंड फ्रॉम दैट ऑनवर्ड्स आई सब्सक्राइब योर चैनल आई वॉच एवरी बिट ऑफ वीडियो लाइक एवरी वीडियो पुट मतलब वो हर एक वीडियो में देखता हूँ इवन तो आप किसी के साथ बना रहे हो जैसे अक्षत सर के साथ बनाई थी या दे वॉज अ गर्ल नेम्ड हाँ मयूरी तो उनके साथ भी आई आई वॉच एवरी वीडियो लाइक ऑफ यू लाइक आई वॉज सो मैसमराइज वेन आई लुक एट यू द वे यू स्पीक द और इट्स नॉट ओनली दैट आई एम सींग यू राइट नाउ यूट्यूब पे भी वो और मैसमराइज करता है सर फिर कैन आई टच यू लाइक कैन आई हैंड कैन यू कम ऑन स्टेज आ जाओ स्टेज पे आ जाओ कुछ नहीं हो the fear of uncertainty is real and the way that you have to deal with this is please have a seat it's totally okay bait ja bait ja mai 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 thoda ghum lu <laughs> you have to center one part of your life because if everything is moving you will feel uncertain it's an eventuality you have to center one part of your life now that could be anything that could be your studies because that's your superpower it could be a relationship which is there it could be maybe a job that you're working in whatever is it center yourself on one and in that centering moment do whatever you can to take out more time to explore your nights your weekends your time after work or whatever is it that's left use that time to explore use that time to create one month capsules in that one month go and become a student again of a completely new domain let's say you want to explore digital marketing you have no idea about it but you're like dur se to bahut acha lagta hai let's see how what it is so you pick up online courses around that you speak to people who are digital marketers you speak to people who were digital marketers but are not there anymore you get a perspective at the end of the month you ask yourself did i like it and if the answer is yes continue with it pick up internships projects if the answer is no move on to something else a new thing in a year which may seem like a really long time but trust me it's not you would have explored anywhere between 6 to 12 new things while having the center of your life stable so you will never feel ki main beh rahi hu you will feel ki main ek disha mein to ja rahi hu what i don't know is if that direction is the right one for me or not but if i have the flow i can easily move at any point of time and it is possible so center yourself don't be like behti hawa sa nahi wo wo nahi wo gana bahut acha hai lekin thoda sa impractical hai the key is center yourself and then keep exploring using that center and you spread those tentacles next thing you know within a year you're doing something completely different and people like ye raat raat kaise ho gaya and that is when magic happens that is when magic happens great yashasvi has agreed to a few more questions okay let's go one and then two ma'am and then three yes okay first you sir mic koi bachayega inke paas yeah good afternoon sir good afternoon sir i have a question that we all are teenagers or in our 20s and the thing what i feel and i think most of us feel is that we have a conflict with our own decisions and we just cannot make a decisive decision of throughout our day so how can we help on our on our dad great i love that what's your name aditya vikram singh aditya yes sir wonderful aditya love your energy aditya 
when we're taking decisions, there are two things that I keep reminding myself. Number one, most decisions that we make in our life, bad job, thank, thank you. you, sir. Most decisions that we make in life are reversible, which means once we've taken the decision, we can actually go back to our original state if the decision doesn't work out. But we feel that most decisions in our life are irreversible. Oh shit, one time we took it, then what will That isn't true. It isn't. 90% or perhaps 95%, I wasn't measuring, of our decisions in our life, in our daily existence are completely reversible. So don't spend an iota of your energy in trying to fret over taking the right decision or not. If the decision doesn't work, come back to where you were, take the other decision. Smooth as hell, trust me, it works. But there will be some decisions in life which are not seemingly reversible. There, I employ a mental model called the worst case visualization mental model. What I do is, I visualize what's the worst thing that can happen if I take this decision. So let's say you're in college, you don't want to sit for placements, you want to go and start up on your own. But you're scared to do that and you're not sure whether you should do it or not. So you imagine that if I start up my startup, what's the worst thing that can happen if I do do that? And the answer is the startup shuts down. So imagine that day when the startup has shut down. Imagine that you're standing in front of your employees and you'll be like, we don't have a job anymore. The startup doesn't exist anymore. It's, it's shut down. I don't have money to pay, the idea cannot work anymore and I'm really, 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 really sorry that we came to this but please start looking for a job from tomorrow onwards and if there's anything that I can do to help, I'm more than happy to help. I'm really sorry, it's not your fault, it's all mine but we are in this. And then imagine that that evening you go to this party and people are like, Oi boss, startup kaise chal raha hai? And you'll be like, I had to shut it down today. And then you tell your parents and you announce it to the world and so on. So go through that motion, close your eyes and feel it. The reason I ask you to close your eyes and feel it is because our mind is a beautiful animal. It doesn't know how to differentiate from reality and imagination. Aksar hota hai jab hum ek sapna dekh rahe honge and we get up and we still question ki hum sapna dekh rahe hai ki ye asli dunya hai. That's because our mind is not oriented to distinguish between reality and imagination. So if you were to close your eyes, and vividly imagine the scenario unfolding in front of you, you will begin to feel very close to what you will feel in real life. Like, aapki dil ki dharkane tez ho jayengi, paseena aane lagega, kaap rahe honge, because it's not a good position to be in. And then ask yourself this very important question. Am I going to be okay? Am I going to be okay financially, socially, mentally, emotionally, physically? Am I going to be okay? And if the answer is no, don't take that decision. You're not ready to take that decision. And if the answer is yes, then don't wait for any other moment to take that decision. Just make that decision happen. You still don't know whether it's the right decision or not, but trust me, there will never be a better moment for you to take that decision because in your head, you are prepared for the worst shit happening to you. Everything else will become a bonus from there on. These two mental models. Yeah? Thank you, sir. Great. Ma'am, yes. Hi, Ankur. I'm Hi. Kathy. Um, I just want to know your take on the relevance of MBA programs in the current world, given your experience. I know this could be a controversial take, but I still want to know. Sure. So I benefited a lot from my MBA program because I knew nothing in life. My perspective in life was zero. I had dropped out of my PhD. I had nine months of real work experience. So if you ask me who are the most important men and women in the world, my answer would be uh, Madame Curie, Albert Einstein, Archimedes, Newton. I had zero idea what sales is, what marketing is, what finance is, what IT is, what HR is, and so on and so forth. So for me to spend time with people who had done that in real life was brilliant. I got to know so much about my own self and about the real world that I wouldn't trade that for anything. However, a lot of people think of an MBA as a short cut to a better salary, a better company that they think that they would never get to and so on. And in that case, that could very well be the reason. It is important to recognize that what you're learning in the class is not going to be the conclusive differentiator. But the fact that you get into a certain program which is very critical because if you want to, let's say, break into the consulting firms, you have to be in the top business schools. You have no choice but to do that. 
or if you want to get through you uh, know fmcg huls of the world then you have to go to the retail business schools which are the top in class and are known for that if you don't do that it's quite likely that your objective will not be fulfilled i do stand here saying that most of what i learned in my mba program is not that i ever used and that's by the way true for most colleges in general so don't think of the education per se as a differentiator think of the brand the network that you get access to of course the monies that you will have to pay both in terms of time and real money and keeping that into account it could be a brilliant game changer as it was for me or it could not move the needle because you didn't focus on the facts that would actually make it work you just over indexed on say the classroom or something that wasn't meaningful yeah cool yes okay both of you because both of you are like line in sight okay can you pass the mic ha huh. pehle aap and fir aapke baad and you okay La last question hello sir thank hello. you for choosing me actually main khud bhi investment kya hua unko laga hum proposal kar rahe hain but theek hai main khud bhi investment karta hu aur main uske favor mein hu but my question is ki abhi mere paas 10 lakh rupaye hain तो मेरे पास दो ऑप्शन है कि या तो मैं उसको इन्वेस्ट कर दूं या फिर मैं डेप्रिशिएटिंग एसेट कोई ले लूं या तो मैं कोई कार ले लूं या फिर किसी भी चीज में लगा दूं तो माय क्वेश्चन इज कि अभी अगर मेरे को कोई डेप्रिशिएटिंग एसेट खरीदने में जॉय मिलता है खुशी मिलती है ठीक है तो क्यों ना मैं उस चीज में लगाऊं जबकि इन्वेस्टमेंट करने के पांच से दस साल बाद मेरे को रिटर्न मिलेंगे और क्या पता पांच से दस साल में मैं रहूं या ना रहूं तो क्या क्या, क्या ये वो वाली बात नहीं हो जाएगी कि प्रेजेंट में ना जी के फ्यूचर में जीना बिल्कुल वैलिड सवाल है बिल्कुल वैलिड सवाल है थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग ऑनेस्ट विद दैट क्वेश्चन एज वेल फर्स्टली कंग्रेचुलेशन कि आपका दस लाख रुपए का कॉर्पस है बैठ जाइए थैंक यू सर अब तो मैं वाकई में आपसे शादी करना चाहता हूं द वे टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन इज नॉट टू थिंक ऑफ देम एज कटिंग ईच अदर अगर आपके पास पैसा है इसका मतलब ये नहीं है द चॉइसेस आर कि मैं इन्वेस्ट करूं या अपनी जिंदगी चूं आपका एक बजट है एंड दैट इज हाउ यू हैव टू अप्रोच मनी मनी इज नेवर टू बी यूज्ड फॉर ओनली वन पर्पस मनी हैज टू बी यूज्ड फॉर मल्टीपल पर्पसेस फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपने मेरे वीडियोज देखे होंगे अगर नहीं भी देखे दैट परफेक्टली फाइन एक बहुत ही फंडामेंटल बजटिंग रूल होता है फिफ्टी थर्टी ट्वेंटी रूल विच सेज फिफ्टी ऑफ योर इनफ्लो goes towards your needs jo aapki zaruraton hain zindagi ki your emi your rent your khane ka kharcha blah 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 30% goes towards your wants aapki ichhaye aapke desires and then 20% goes towards your investments to agar aapko gaadi khareedni hai which in your admission not my words is a depreciating asset nahi bolenge hum usko kyunki usko utni izzat nahi denge hum depreciating commodity ki jaise hi aap gaadi khareedenge showroom se bahar niklenge uski aukat 30% kam ho chuki hogi aur wapas unke paas jayenge na oh yaar galti kar di you know नहीं खरीदनी थी तो बोलते हाँ सर हम वापस ले लेंगे सत्तर परसेंट पे राइट सो दैट इज अ डेप्रिशिएटिंग कमोडिटी इफ यू डू चूज टू बाय दैट व्हिच इज एब्सोल्युटली लेजिट इट हैज टू कम फ्रॉम दैट थर्टी परसेंट एलोकेशन ऑफ योर मनी इट हैज टू कम फ्रॉम दैट सो यू हैव टू नाउ एलोकेट योर मनी इन सच अ वे कि आप पाई पाई जोड़कर या एक लोन लेकर उस तीस के अंदर अंदर रहकर अपनी जिंदगी जिस हिसाब से जीना चाहते हैं जियेंगे and 30% is not a small amount it's lesser than the investment amount but that is how you be smart about your money don't make it a binary decision of gaadi ya zindagi sorry gaadi ya investment it has to be something which is in the middle okay i'm sorry the guy behind you uh, time nahi bacha hai kyunki yashasvi bahut daantti hai sunne mein aaya so thank you so much everybody it was a pleasure and please take over